Hey there, everyone. It's Caitlin, your geeky girlfriend, back again with another Real Talk movie review. Um, as always, there are some minor spoilers ahead in all of these videos because I'm just trying to, I try and give you a little bit of the plot, kind of like a little trailer, um, show you some scenes from the film without actually giving away too many details, but sometimes that's what I have to do to tell the truth. Um, and so there are always some minor spoilers ahead. Today's video I'm really excited about. We kind of watched this on a whim. I was recommended to watch this video or this movie, so here we go. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Red Notice. This is the newest, um, one of the newer Netflix movies. Um, Netflix has been releasing a lot of good movies lately. This one is a big ticket one starring Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and Gal Gadot. Um, the premise, we'll go ahead and get into some scenes from the film. The premise is Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays an FBI agent on the hunt for Ryan Reynolds, who is a master art thief, who is one of the most, you know, the FBI's most wanted men. Um, the story starts off in Rome, and they go all around the world chasing each other, and Ryan Reynolds is on the search for what he has in his hand there, Cleopatra's eggs. Cleopatra, um, as you know, is the Egyptian goddess. She had apparently three golden eggs, and they have, you know, they go into the history of it in the film, and then they get spread all over the world, and they're almost reunited, but the person who unites all three gets a big payout. So, Ryan Reynolds is trying to steal Cleopatra's eggs, and then Gal Gadot comes in, and she's another art thief who's trying to get in on them as well. So, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, playing the FBI agent, is trying to arrest Gal Gadot for being an art thief, but he also ends up tying in with Ryan Reynolds and helping Ryan Reynolds steal Cleopatra's egg um, because he is being framed and he's trying to clear his name. So, shenanigans ensue. As you can see, they get in fights. They um, travel, all, like I said, they travel all over the world trying to find this egg. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson's whole purpose is to arrest Gal Gadot. But he also is, like, he has awarded Ryan Reynolds kind of some um, amenity because, or immunity, because he, Ryan Reynolds has agreed to help him capture Gal Gadot. There are so many twists and turns in this film. It is like there's something new around every corner. You truly don't know what to expect. And as always, because Ryan Reynolds is in the film, you can expect there's going to be a little bit of laughs along the way too. The cast has great chemistry um, and there are some other big names in the film as well. Um, Ed Sheeran has a little cameo, which is pretty funny. Um, but it has it all. There's comedy, action, suspense, and twists around every corner. You truly don't know how the film is going to end. You don't know who's going to end up with the eggs. You don't know who's going to end up getting captured. It's truly on, you're truly on the edge of your seats. The cast is stellar. Like I said, they have great chemistry. There's laughs along the way. Um, great one-liners from Ryan Reynolds. Um, and the ending left it open for a sequel. So at the very, very end, all the loose ends get tied up. You're shocked. You're like stunned. And then it's like, oh, by the way, we might make another one of these films. And they left that open. The Rock is great. I, for those of you who don't know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is one of my favorite actors. So there is not a movie that I have seen with him in it that I don't enjoy. Um, I like how versatile he is. Most of his films do end up having that adventure action kind of feel, but he's done a lot of comedy. Um, and recently, I guess he was in a rap music video. So there's that. Um, but I genuinely enjoy many of the films that The Rock has done and almost everything that I've seen that he's been in, I like. So anytime there's a movie with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I'm most likely going to like it. And I know I'm not the only female who can speak to that um, because he's not terrible to look at on the screen either. Neither is Ryan Reynolds. Um, so, however, the cons. I'm not sure about the historical accuracy of Cleopatra's eggs and if that's real or not in the three. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be historically accurate. They didn't really make that clear. To me, Gal Gadot is not, was not a reason to watch the film. However, she did a, a fine job. I have not watched Wonder Woman, but I feel like I would like her better in this film than in Wonder Woman had I watched Wonder Woman. Um, She's gorgeous, of course. Obviously, she shows her legs and her chest and everything in the film because she was a model, so she's got that going for her. Um, and Oh, and she has, of course, a bikini scene or a bathing suit scene at the end because they had to throw that in there, which that I was like, really? Okay. Um, so I was like, mm, I don't think that's necessary, but she's got to have it, I'm sure. 
So she did a fine job. Not a reason to watch the film. But I will say her chemistry with the other two men was pretty good. Um, and she was enjoyable to watch in this film, even though I have it listed as a con. The ending was also good, and I meant to move that over to the pros, but the ending was also good, but it was a big twist, totally unexpected. Um, and the other thing I forgot to list as a pro here was there were a lot of, um, there's a lot of like friendship storyline going on between The Rock and Ryan Reynolds, which adds for another little element of comedy, but it also adds like this um, wholehearted, like, just another dimension of those characters. Like they truly become friends and they truly do form a bond, um, which makes the ending all that uh, more satisfying, I guess, because you've watched them like actually form a bond. Um, and so it's kind of fun to watch. So there's that going for it too. Overall, I give it an A. Bravo, Netflix. This was a good film. My husband and I both really enjoyed it. We both were on the edge of our seats. We were laughing. Um, it was good. It was really, really good. We were recommended to watch it by my sister. So thank you, Sydney, for the shout out. Her and her husband watched it and they said they agreed. It was really good, funny, suspenseful, twist at the end. It's got something for everybody, truly. Not too much action either. It has more of a spy thriller vibe than an action, which I appreciate because I'm not a huge action movie person. Action movies are actually my least favorite. I get sick and tired of watching people fight each other on screen, which with Dwayne The Rock Johnson being Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he almost always has a fight scene in all of his films. But as long as it's mild, it doesn't bother me. However, this one had more of a spy thriller vibe, less of an action. There is a, a scene where Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne The Rock Johnson kind of escape. And I love all the escape heist stuff. I love all of that in the film. Um, and so, like I said, this one was more of a spy thriller, less of an action film which I appreciated, and that made me enjoy it even more. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like I said, this was Red Notice, Netflix's newest film, um, spy thriller, kind of dramedy, um, great cast, great chemistry. I would definitely watch this film again. Definitely watch the sequel if there is going to be a sequel. This is a 2021 release, so it's brand new. We'll have to wait a few years probably for the sequel, but I thought this was a great film. Let me know in the comments if you have watched this film and what your thoughts on it were. Um, and let me know also what you want me to review next. Thank you guys. to thanks to everyone who has been watching these videos. Um, I was going through my view history today and some of these videos have gotten almost a hundred or even upwards of 200 views. So thank you guys so, so much. I know I don't have very many subscribers, but to those of you who are a subscriber, thank you. Continue to share my videos. If you like them, let people know about them and let me know what you want me to watch next. I've got other video reviews coming up. Uh, tonight. So go ahead and go check out my channel for the rest of those new release Real Talk videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.